Okay, I'm with Little Miss here. We've just done a little trimmings and I wanted to show you guys, I have did that one with Lena and uh, I've been maintaining her feet forever. So what we, what we don't get to see really is um, sort of the passage of time once sort of come in here. Hello, I'm just going to look at your feet if you're cool with that. Um, but I want you to look at these feet in regards to these rings. You see how there's so few of them here, but we've got one, two, three, four, kind of there. And you can see them much more in front, sort of idea. And <laughs> what do you want? Why do you gotta come down here? Just stay up high. Oh, there goes a loud motorcycle. Um, and the, uh, she's been here for now, I think around seven, eight months now. And what this sort of shows is over the time that she's been here, uh, she doesn't have those rings, the time that I've been trimming her. Uh, so in other words, what it, what it sort of shows and what you can, you can do, if you look around at other feet as well, um, you can see, you know, these kind of definitive sort of rings and both feet have them. And, uh, and you can see on this one how we've got this bit here and then this here. I'll zoom in a bit. Um, this line here and this one up here. And, uh, and she's got a bit of a different shape, a little bit different shape there. And it needs to be resolved. It takes a little bit to get these things done, but this is how you can kind of tell when a horse has been trimmed mostly, hopefully mostly on, a, on an effective um, training or trimming trimming schedule because otherwise you'll continue to see all of these rings traveling up but if you look it's quite smooth. Well, I'm looking I'm looking here so you can see it's quite smooth uh, along there until you get to that point where her feet have or are sort of growing out. Uh, growing the the hoof is growing out so she'll need to grow this whole all this stuff out and then we'll grow one more down one more whole hoof down and she stays with me uh, for trimming or whoever does her hopefully will maintain a good training trimming schedule trimming schedule good trimming schedule for horses that have these kinds of problems um, uh, is essentially <laughs> hello little miss you know every few weeks at the latest trim every few weeks none of this six to eight weeks business otherwise you're going to have these constant rings and hey get over here and um and essentially uh a, a degradation of the hoof and a disconnection uh of the of the uh structure so hopefully that makes some sense i just wanted to kind of back that up uh from the last video i did with lena talking about hooves and what you can kind of look for and why and even from up here you can kind of see what appears to, oh, out of the way, what appears to be kind of right there, almost like like a little dent. It doesn't totally appear that way from this way, but there is um, just that last sort of inch or so, inch and a half at most of growth that needs to come out or come off in, in a timely manner so that all of the hoof wall is connected properly to the inside and we just we just don't want to see those rings so anyways that's a real quick one uh, hopefully that makes sense when you're looking around at your horse or if you're uh, if you're interested in hooves and stuff like that and you want to understand them the health of the horse very very important um, there you go there's another quick tip that you can see from the outside from the underside different story altogether different bunch of clues but from the outside you can absolutely tell when a horse has not had timely trims by their rings and angles but in this case rings we did angles when we talked about uh, Lena's hooves hello little miss you need some scratches I know she's so pretty such a pretty mane okay that's it for this one and uh, I'll see you guys I'll see you guys in the next one